Hey, what's up? This is Elias from the band Nonpoint, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey, fuckers, it's Rocco Anderson here on Ship Rock 2019 with these lovable. Oh, just so sweet. You guys are sweethearts, man. Oh, uh, you guys, I, I just can't believe. I mean, we're watching them. The band is obviously Nonpoint, but we got to get into, since we are on Ship Rocked, we got to get into some team activities that we had on Cozumel the other day. Yeah. And, uh, First of all, introduce yourselves. Then we're going to go over the over the team. What we're talking about. Right. Sure. Rashid guitar. Uh, Elias vocals. I'm BC. I play guitar. Rob drums. Rob in the back. Adam bass. Bass. How low can you go, man? Motherfucker, you were in the theater playing the other day. You were right up in my face. I'm like, holy shit! There's a bass. I'm eating a bass. But anyway, <laughs> um, we go eating four's bass. Eating four. Yeah, eating four strings. Um, so we're going to talk real quickly about your beach experiment. Yes. Who were the uh, team captains? First off, team captains and your, the name of your team and explanation. Yes, that was, that's me. My team was uh, yellow and uh, we were cake farts. It was uh, one of the people that came up with it was one of the people on the team and he said to just look it up on Pornhub. So plug for Pornhub. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, ours was the, uh, I believe we were the blue team. Blue team. Uh, and we were the jumbo breaded shrimp, uh, reminiscent of the back, uh, going back a little bit uh, uh, to that first beach war. Um, and it's uh, when you take your dinghy and you stick it in the sandy. That's your penis. Yeah, yeah, and you put it in the thingy. Yeah. Vagina. Yeah. Okay. I'll let him say it. Okay. I'll let him say it. I'll say it. And you, sir? Uh, I'm BC. I was captain of Team Black, and we were American Dream. And uh, I kind of only just came up with that name, but I. The explanation, I knew the explanation, and I didn't know the name, so I invented the name American Dream. But it was you basically anal, you put your your wiener in the in the butthole, and then you fist her and jack yourself off in the butthole. You got to grab it through the vagina into the. It's it's there's a name for it. I don't know, but it's very it's very capable. Like, make like, making America great again. I'm a little traumatized even oh, wow. saying it. You know, like as you can tell, I'm all flustered right now. You weren't, you weren't the... Uh, I was a referee. Yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't a team. You, you, you were the MC. I was the MC. I blew the whistle and I kicked people out. The okay. best job. And you, sir, what was your team name? I was uh, Team White and we were the Anal Seep. And it was, that's uh, self-explanatory. That's I don't think we need to go anywhere with that. <laughs> anywhere with that. that that's, a, that's where we cut this off. Okay, and who won? I just want to say ain't nothing wrong with silver. We won. Ain't wrong I got a bunch of ringers. I don't know. I, I got a bunch of big giant dudes. He and, picked oh. all. He picked all the jocks. Yeah, but yeah. You know, there was a there was a drinking game, and there was like a ninety pound girl on my team that drank a beer faster than I've seen any man. So it was the, the tug of war. I say it was a lot closer than it should have been because it, you guys had the beef, man. You guys had the fucking brawn. Yeah, yeah, I was it's, scared yeah, there at the yeah, end. We were two people down. Yeah. Well, he, well, he, yeah, it was you, ten to twelve. You were around, he, he was using science. He was like getting the whole team to. One, two, three, heave. And like our team was just like a bunch of shit shows. Just <laughs> you know, so. It was Snowflakes versus the beef. And uh, and Snowflakes hung in there. We did. You, 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 good job coaching. I, I, everybody thought it was going to be over. His team actually held on for, he had a couple 90 pounders over there. We're actually doing a good I had job. Santa Claus on my team, for Christ's sake. I had a 93 year old guy that looked like Blue. That's uh, that's Shiprock Santa. I think he's from Georgia. Yeah. yeah. He literally looks like Blue from. Uh, that. But anyway. Enough about that. Enough about that. You guys had a new album out recently, just last year. Yep. Um, Elias, since you're the front man, give us a, a plug for that. What's coming out on that? Do you got any singles planned? Tell uh, us what's up. It's it's uh, the record is ten or X, whatever you want to call it. And we're on our tenth anniversary of Ship Rock, so that makes sense. It's uh, it's so appropriate. Um, uh, but uh, the first single was Chaos and Earthquakes, and it looks like Fix This is going to be the next one. Cool. Excellent. If you haven't gotten it, I fucking highly recommend it you guys have been in the game for a little while and it's really good to see every show you guys no matter what's going on in your lives no matter what's going on in the fucking world you guys it's always therapeutic to go to a non-point show because you can get your aggression out or you can just watch it it all explode on stage these guys are a fucking must-see band that's why we're talking to you right Thank now because you. You, you guys are fucking amazing so you got a lot of other shit to do and maybe have some fun before you go back, um, to uh, do you guys go back? Is everybody living in Chicago or around Chicago now? Uh, uh, hopefully, three of us do. I don't have to uh, go to snow. I don't have to go to snow. Thank God. We're we're from Wisconsin originally. We're California for twenty years now oh, in Texas. 
And so, but we're not going back to Wisconsin. Oh, you got you got some you got some canceled flights in your future, bro. <laughs> I may have a canceled flight. You got some polar vortexes is, is in your future, bro. It's, it was supposed to be like minus fifty, I think, when when we left for Ship Rock. So, you know, yes. it's like eighty degrees below where water freezes. Yes, that's fucking eighty-two. Crazy. That is fucking crazy. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, I appreciate you, y'all. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're out for Tattoo.com, tattoo Edge Rock Radio. Edge. We didn't even have time for tattoos. Sorry, guys. But we're out. It's all good.